Number 52. Combine thin lens equations to show that the magnification for a thin lens is determined by its focal length and the object distance given by this thing. All right, so basically we have two thin lens equations, right? We have one where it says negative di over do, meaning the image distance divided by the object distance is going to be equal to the magnification. And then we have this one, that one divided by the object distance plus one divided by the image distance will be equal to then one over the focal length. So what I basically need to do is I need to solve one of these for m. Now, there is no right way to do this. The right way is to try to figure out how to get there. All right, so however we get there, we're right. Um, uh, but, you know, I'm just going to do it uh, this way. I think I see it the easiest, but you might see a different way, which would be fantastic. So what I'm actually going to do here is I'm going to solve this for di. Um, when I do that, I simply cross multiply this term on over, and then I got to get rid of the negative sign. So I divide by negative one, but, you know, that's all that basically happens. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this then result and plug it in for di in here. Okay, so why don't we do that? So then this becomes now 1 over do plus then 1 over now negative, and you can, this is negative mdo, right? This is mdo. And maybe what we'll do here is why don't we just get rid of this negative here and just do a subtraction now, okay? In my mind, that makes it a little easier. Now my whole goal is to solve for m, right? So I need to isolate m on one side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this term on over to the right, and then I'm going to subtract this term on over to the left, and that's literally how it's going to look now. Okay? I think I'm using all little tricks here for algebra and stuff, just, just moving some terms around, right? You definitely want to be fluent in that at this point, especially with, with physics here, okay? So uh, now what I realize is that, well, you know what? I don't like this kind of messy, complicated, you know, two fractional thing there. So maybe what I'll do is I'll find a common denominator so I can combine these terms. All right. So in other words, in order to do that, what you're going to have to do is take then this fraction and multiply this by f over f, because I have to, I'm going to get a common denominator of f do. And then here I'm going to do the same thing, except now I'm going to multiply it by do over do, right? f over f is one, do over do is one. So I'm essentially not changing a darn thing, but what I'm able to do then is find a common denominator here between the two. So f times 1 is simply just f, and this becomes now divided by, and it doesn't matter how you organize it now, okay? You can write it as f do if you like, does not make a difference, minus then do over then, I'm going to keep it consistent, right? f do is equal to then 1 over m do, all right? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine these things, okay? So now this works out to be f minus now do all over f do is equal to 1 over m do. And now what I want to do is I want to solve this for m, right? I want m all by itself, okay? So now what we can do here is, you know, there's a couple of ways that we can think this through. Um, notice how all the terms have a common, well, let's, let's wait on that. So let's cross multiply this m on out. Actually, all we have to do is really take the reciprocal too. We can just, yeah, that might be easier to see. Just take the reciprocal of these two because I want to put m in the numerator, okay? So then what I'm going to, I'm going to continue the work on the left-hand side over here. So this is now f do all over then uh, f minus do is equal to now m do. Now I want to get rid of this do on the bottom, okay? Right? So what we're going to do now is I'm going to basically just kind of cross multiply this on over. So now watch what's going to happen. So when I do this now, I'm going to cross multiply the do on down there. Okay, so I'm literally just going to go like this. Oop, not bring, don't bring the m. I'm going to put this in parentheses now, okay, and this in parentheses. Now notice how I have a common multiplied do term here and here. Guess what happens to them? And I'll put it in red to give you a hint. Green kind of means go, red means stop. They cancel. Wait a minute. F over F minus do, hooray. There we are. All right. So that's how you can do it. There's other ways definitely to do this algebra, but uh, that's just the way I see it. Hey, how you doing out there? What's going on? Oh, just a school bus. Actually, it was funny. There was a squirrel on the road. And uh, what a nice bus driver, right? Instead of running the squirrel over, decided to give it a little toot toot, right? Tell it to move. 
Um, and I'm happy to report Squirrel is still alive. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. All right. I uh, hope this helps and I will see you in the next one. All right. Take care.